You're listening to the Proaxia Podcast. Hi everybody, it's Andy here and I've got Paul. Hi Paul, how you doing? I'm, well, I'm, I'm good, good but sad I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, we thought we'd, we, we had, we've we been talking about this and uh, we thought we just, we couldn't let it go by without paying some sort of tribute to David Longdon who died um, just last week um through an accident we don't really know what it was but uh yeah just talking we just thought we had to, we had to put something out to just to pay tribute um obviously our our thoughts go out to his family and, and uh, his friends uh but uh, what a what a loss mate what a loss yeah and and it was the, the shock of it the surprise of it um and I'm sure like a bunch of other people, you know, went on to try and find out why. And I couldn't, and I still don't really know, you know, an accident. Um, not quite sure more than that. And uh, bloody hell, mate, he's, he's a year younger than me, which, you know, is like, wow. Um, yeah, 56 and, years old is just yeah, just so sad. And, and I, was, I was just saying to you um, that, you know, when I was doing, you know, I do my shows and stuff, and uh, literally on on Friday, I was just getting some of the tracks together for uh, another show I wanted to do, sort of 2010 at the present day, on the radio, and um, I got out this on Friday, yeah. um, English Electric Part One, because it's one of my favourites, and uh, I got it out and played it in the kitchen, and mm. thought, fantastic, you know. Um, the first rebreather, I was thinking, yeah, stick that on because that that was like the first track I ever really heard. It was the first album I ever bought um, from Big Big Train, and uh, yep. it spurred me on to buy other others, you know. So <laughs> uh, I was really just really so impressed yeah. with Big Big Train at the time. Went to see them quite a few years ago now, uh, mm. and yeah. where was, where was that? Where did you see them? God, oh, not sure. Can't remember. I, My memory. I saw them in Basingstoke. Um, it was the night of the uh, was it the World Cup semi final or something against Croatia, and and oh, it was right. worth leaving the game for. So I missed the Beatrix players who was a support act who I don't think are going anymore. And this was you no, know, this is Basingstoke, and for them to play a place like Basingstoke was fantastic. You know, the moment yeah. the tickets came available, it was one of those you know keep pressing until you get tickets. Yeah, I, and, I cannot remember where I saw them. I cannot remember at all where I saw them. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't a massive venue, uh, but it was it was one of those nights where you sort of just go, I've got to follow this band. I've got to yeah. listen to more, get more stuff. Um, and it's basically because of, of uh, David's voice. It, it was just absolutely fantastic. It just fit the music brilliantly. Um, you know, he's, he's famous for, for being on the short list for Genesis when um, Phil Collins left. Yeah. And, and would have been absolutely perfect, and they got Ray Wilson in instead. But you know, you know, David's voice would have been absolutely perfect for that. You know, he just like this, he could have tackled all the old stuff quite easily because he had that sort of Gabriel esque voice, although it didn't sound it. like Gabriel, you know. Yeah, and he could have tackled the yeah. Phil Collins stuff as well. Um, yeah. but yeah, it's just a really, 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 really sad. Um, and it really just wanted to sort of, as I say, just pay a little bit of a tribute because, you know, he shouldn't be forgotten. You know, he shouldn't sort of go in the mist of time and and that sort of thing. And if anybody's out there, if you've got any of these, you know, big big train stuff, um, just go and go and listen to it. I mean, what's what's your uh, your favourites out of that? Well, well, like you, I first heard with English electric so i got the um the double pack full power it's called yeah full I'm power on yeah, way. part one and two yeah, yeah. So part one and two and um, part of it for me was it was a storytelling because they did they told stories didn't they um and they sort of like you know and, and and some of it was um kind of you know semi mysterious stuff but some of it was just you know just basic you know, it was it was english it was power it was uh maybe they, they picked up on um, on, a, on a story from recent history, and wanted to, uh, wanted to compelling, interesting listening because you now you felt you were kind of learning something when you were listening to them. Yeah, because it's singing it about like to me they were getting, and, you know, and stuff like yeah. that, wasn't it? We sort of yeah. the the stuff of life, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah. And you know, um, without uh, being a stupid pun on um, on English Electric, but they they just seem to be getting you know, some full steam because they were playing more gigs. They hadn't played you know, gigs in a while. Um, and so this is going back a few years. But they were sort of like, you know, packing out Cadogan Hall, weren't they, in places for a while. Um, they are due, where they still are, due to play at one of the HRH festivals next year. Um, they've been releasing you know, albums of... of of high quality um, pretty much year on year. They've had some great musicians come through recently. Um, so, you know, David and Greg have been sort of the mainstays, but they've had other people coming through. Rachel Hall was playing. Um, uh, Pete Jones, wasn't he, of Tiger Moth Tales was playing. Um, they've, they've had some great people coming through the rank. So it was always going to be quality, yeah? It was always going to be quality. And uh, do you know anyone that's listened to Big Big Train and doesn't like them? I mean, everyone does. and there's a bunch of people who are they call them passengers people who are sort of signed up to the uh to, to the fan club you know and you've you've got it's a bit like the enid to me you know um you've got people who are really really fervent big big fans uh and rightly so so yeah storytelling great story to, and you're right he would have fitted very well i think into the uh, into the genesis uh lineup um oh, perfect yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you talk about storytelling. I mean, again, you know, with uh, when I first started listening to them, I, I, and, uh, you know, I first picked up that that very first album in English, Lecture Part One. Um, mm. Do you know, the, the the thing that struck me more than anything else was the uh, the amazing songwriting of it. You know, like you say, it, it was, it gave me the same sort of vibe as when I listened to Old Genesis. It didn't sound like Old Genesis. You know, it wasn't like trying to trying to replicate that. But you know, in in uh, it, when you listen to old Genesis stuff, you just get involved in it. You know, it it mm. it's, it is telling a story and there's a a theme to it. And you know, the music is is just perfectly structured around the lyrics and things like that. Mm. And it's exactly the same. But that's why I liked it so much because it just reminded me of of bands like that bands like the 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 old prog bands the you know the genesis and that sort of thing that um that wrote stories and 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 had some sort of you know good narrative that you could latch yourself into yeah. and then you had the voice you know you know david london's voice which mm. was just beautiful i mean he just yeah. tackled everything so so well and uh yeah it's yeah, he's gonna be gonna be sorely missed by the prog community i think the um yeah and as you say i, I don't know anybody who's actually listened to a big big train album that just doesn't like it <laughs> it's yeah. uh it's fantastic music fantastic musicianship as you say they've had a lot of great people go through as well um so yeah just wanted to i think that's that's it really mate. i just wanted to sort of have just, I, I just wanted to have <laughs> say yeah, if, if anyone hasn't hasn't heard, then you know, the, well, you won't go wrong with their um, their albums. But you just li just listing some of the track names. You know, they're very evocative, aren't they? So, um, Hedgerow, you know, um, Winchester from St Giles's Hill, you know, um, uh, the Ivy Gate, a Mead Hall in winter, London Stone, the second brightest star. I mean. There's a story straight there, isn't there, um, to be told? Um, you know, this isn't, with all due respect, this isn't, no, oh, she loves you and stuff like that. This is, this is, no, them having done their research, Swan Hunter, you know, yeah, uh, yeah guess what it's about? Um, and, do you know, one of the, one of the things that, you know, when, when you, when you listen to this, I mean, I, I can, I remember one of my favorites was Uncle Jack. Um, yeah. And because it was, Again, it was like it was like reminiscent of that sort of older Genesis type of track mm. that they sort of put in. It's like Harold the Barrel, yeah, sort of thing. Um, yeah, that they sort of put in, and it, you sort of go, mm, yeah, I'm not so not so keen on this one. You know, I'm, I'm sort of prefer the other sort of stuff. And then, but that's the one that keeps on pumping through your brain. Mm. You know, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, just the way it all fits together, you know, the 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 the, the sounds, the voice, the just the you know, just the, the and the packaging, you know, I mean, yeah. it, that is a great album cover. Yep. You know. Yeah. They're just like great album covers. The great. And you got the Grimstone one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. 
So anyway, right. we, we, we don't want to do go on too long for this, but just wanted to sort of say, so say, just pay some sort of tribute to David Longdon. Died yeah. at fifty six, too bloody soon. Yeah, um, be sorely missed. So uh, yeah. Yeah. if you're out there uh, and you really want to pay tribute, then the only way to do that right now is to start playing some of these albums again. Go and listen to that voice again, and we'll yeah, see yeah. you next time. No. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for joining us on the Progaxia podcast. Don't forget to like this video and also to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us. We'll see you next time.